Facts Verse presents This fact about Gunsmoke is fascinating. Gunsmoke was a very popular Western drama that was created and directed by Norman Macdonald. The series ran from April 26, 1952 until June 18, 1961. Millions of people were a fan of the show, and in fact, it's still on television in reruns today. If you're a fan of the show, here are a few facts you might not have known about it. Throughout the entire series, there were no romantic storylines. The main character, Matt Dillon, never had a love interest. The show ran for 20 seasons, and during that time he kissed only one person. It was Michael Learned from The Waltons. Gunsmoke started as a radio show. The radio show had a different cast, and the characters were portrayed differently. Kitty Russell, for example, was a different type of lady. In the radio show, she was portrayed as, well, an escort. They changed this when Gunsmoke came to TV to make it more family-friendly. Before James Arness landed the role of Matt Dillon, he served in the U.S. Army during World War II. While working as a rifleman in Operation Shingle in 1944, he severely damaged his leg and his foot, which made walking difficult. If he had to shoot a scene in Gunsmoke where he had to walk a lot, he had to rest his leg for long periods of time beforehand to be sure that he could get through the scene. Glenn Strange was a real-life cowboy, later becoming an actor. He was beloved by his co-stars, and when he died of lung cancer at the age of 74, the cast was devastated. Amanda Blake, who played Miss Kitty, was so devastated by the loss of her friend she couldn't handle working on set. Because of this, Miss Kitty was written out of the show. Buck Taylor, the actor who played Newley O'Brien, named his third son Cooper Glenn Taylor to honor his deceased friend. This fact about Gunsmoke is pretty fascinating. A lot of fans didn't like the way that the show ended. They expected a great ending that tied up loose ends after 20 years. Even the cast was confused by the ending. They had no idea until taping the last episode that the show had even been canceled. Dennis Weaver's character, Chester Good, had a limp. The show never explained why he limped, but there were a few theories. One was that the producers told him to limp to make him appear shorter. Another was that the character was injured during the Civil War. Dennis says he regrets giving his character a limp because it was challenging to keep it up for 20 seasons. Roger Ewing is the actor who played Thad. He played the character for two seasons before leaving the show. After that, he fell off the radar and disappeared from the spotlight. He did that intentionally, though, because he was a private person and he didn't want fame or recognition. According to the show's insiders, 26 actors were considered for the role of Matt Dillon. The actor who played him on the radio was considered, and that was Raymond Burr. John Picard and Denver Pyle were also considered. Although Dennis Weaver came from Missouri, he didn't have a country accent. When he went to audition for the role of Chester, he worried about his accent so much he felt that he gave a subpar performance. He was so worried that he begged the show's producers for his second audition. Well, they agreed, and he nailed the second one. Polly Bond was initially chosen for the role of Miss Kitty. She ended up turning it down so that she could focus on her family. At the time, she had no idea that the role would have guaranteed her work for the next 20 years. The phrase, get out of Dodge, is often used. It actually originated from the TV show Gunsmoke. It refers to Dodge City, Kansas, where the show was set. Fetus Hagen was played by Ken Curtis and first appeared in Season 8. By Season 9, Ken Sheriff was a regular on the show. Ken modeled his character after a man he knew as a kid named Cedar Jack, who made a living making cedar posts for wooden fences. In 1967, CBS almost killed Gunsmoke. At the time, William Paley was the network president, and he and his wife loved the show. They didn't want it to end, so it was moved to Monday nights at 8 p.m. Unfortunately, this was the same time slot for Gilligan's Island, meaning that Gilligan got canceled. Sorry, Gilligan. James Arness is the only cast member to appear in every single episode of Gunsmoke. He starred in 635 episodes. The only other actor to play a character longer on primetime television was Kelsey Grammer, who played Fraser Crane on Cheers and Frasier. He had to take two TV series to make it up to that many episodes. Subscribe for more!